guys, what's up today? I come to you with my weekly review of Haruchika. And in this week's episode, episode five, we have a potential future new character that will be joining the cast very soon, I presume. So this um new character by the name of Akiri Goto, she is a middle school student who is looking to graduate very soon. And she comes to our main characters, Haru and Chika, in order for them to solve a mystery. Particularly, he, she asks um, Haru because in her school, particularly her club, her musical club, everyone knows Haru as the detective. So if that wasn't obvious from the previous episodes, they did state it in this episode. So he is the detective of the series. He's the one that solved the mysteries ma majority of the time. And every now and again, Chika gives you know, she, out of nowhere, she, not out of nowhere, but she will give hints in order to solve the mystery, okay, in her own way. She's not Haru smart, but she does have her ways of trying to help and solve the mysteries that are given to them. So her mystery what to be solved, a curious mystery to be solved was elephant's bread, okay? And it has to deal with something her grandfather has stated many and many times um, many, many in times ago. So she doesn't have, her grandfather loves her. Okay. He's always asking about how she, how she does in school or is she making any friends in that sort, but she has a, a, a strained relationship with her grandfather simply because it had to do with her grandmother who, when she heard the story of how her grandfather was supposed to be back home to be with his grandmother, he didn't come home till years later to try to be with her. And she thinks that he uses her kindness against her. And that's why she doesn't really trust him. And she wants answers from him and demands him to say his apologies to her grandmother for leaving her for so much years with a child as well. So we come to find out what the meaning of elephant bread. So that's, that's the mystery, the elephant bread. Now the title sounds simple. You would think, okay, what's the color of an elephant's bread? You're going to probably see what pink, blue, green. You're going to want to assume a color. But we come to find out it has to deal with these three paintings that Akiri's um, grandfather had created. And they all have elephants inside a jungle. And the color of the sky changes like throughout the day. You have where it's like bright yellow, then brown or bl blue or black. And then, no, blue and then black, which represents the nighttime. So it's like morning, evening, and nighttime. Now, you thinking is not too much to think about. I mean, he probably would have thought, oh, it's, you know, I just draw an elephant and then draw how I see the sky when it changes colors depending on the time of day. But we come to find out this episode also took us back in history, starting from 1966 when her grandfather decided to travel to the United States in order to continue his paintings and try to get some teaching from it. Now, when he went there, he went to Los Angeles, then went to Chicago, okay, in 1966. And, but he did not return back to Japan till 1976. So that makes you question, why did he return so many years later when he promised his wife, the, the woman of his child, the, the mother of his child, um, he's going to be back a year later, but yet he returned like 10 plus years later and now has the excuse to whatever his sickness may be. And we come to find out that even though um their sent their teacher their their musical instructor I always forget his name he told them to stop the mis trying to solve the mystery they still went on trying to solve it and we come to find out through you know various investigation and the such is that the reason why he returned so many years after is because he was in a war. And he had, instead of amnesia, which many of the characters thought he had because he always forgot what was happening and he's always repeating words, it's because he tried to play it off for his PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, okay? And the reason for that is because during 1966, there was also the civil rights movement as well and something that dealt with in Chicago. And even though they were Japanese immigrants um, traveling, and they were on like, it doesn't matter if they had permanent residence or just, you know, temporary residence, they could have been drafted into the war, as well as there was the Vietnam War going on during that time. So he was drafted to be put into the war, and he had to experience many 
many serious and very traumatic things during that time. And usually people who go through war experience that and they always, they may end up with P PTSD. So for him to come back to Japan and for many years, he has not been able to get a good night rest. So every time he's trying to go to sleep, he's always up. So those paintings represent what he saw when he was in Vietnam, when he was in the jungle with the elephant. It showed what he had to go through and the trauma that he had to live through for so many years. And now it takes effect on him years later. Eventually, that's when they solved the mystery and found out the reason why he drew those paintings and what elephant Brett meant to him. So that was it for the rest of the episode. So Akari, she graduates from middle school and soon enough, we're going to probably see in um, future episodes joining the Brass Band Club. And of course, she's going to try to rekindle what little relationship she has with her grandfather and because he also has little time left to live. So she's going to try to use her time with him very wisely and try to build up that bond between both of them. So do tell me your thoughts and your opinions on this week's episode of Haruchika in the comment section below. You can also check me on Twitter and Tumblr. The Facebook page is in the description box. You can click on that link. And I'm Kimi-chan of Anime Legends Podcast, and I will see you guys later. Bye!